Haftorah, the second day of Rosh Hashanah, which will be Sunday. We already did the reading of the Torah for the first two days. The reading of the Torah is right at the end of Parshas of Ayera. They follow one another, the birth of Yitzchak. And the um, the binding of Yitzchak, and then we learned yesterday the Haftorah, the first day, Maftir. The Haftorah for the first day is the birth of Shmuel. The birth of Samuel the prophet, Hannah, giving birth. And the second day is a prophecy, and we did that, we finished that. And the second day, though, is a prophecy from Jeremiah. And it's talking about how God is going to redeem the Jews and rebuild the temple. And it also has a very touching <clears throat> sentence about Rachel in it. Right near the end. <sighs> so let's see, maybe we'll go back a little bit. We'll do the Hebrew. Ko Amar Hashem, Motzachin B'Midbar, Im Sridi Cherev, Haloch lahar gio, Israel. Mirachok Hashem nirali ba'avas olam avtich. Alkein meshachtich chasid. This is what God said. You, I found. You found favor in my eyes. Those who have le been left over. God appeared from far away. He is an eternal love. He has loved me. I have loved you, God said. I have loved you in eternal love. Therefore, I am giving you kindness. And don't worry, I will build you the virgin of Israel. You will put on your garments and you will go out with a in rejoicing. You plant vineyards, Bahari Shomron, Venitav, and not im Hilalu, Kiyesh Yom Koro, Notsrim, Bahar Ephraim, Kumu, Vanalatzion, El Hashem, Elokeinu. Everyone's going to say, Let's go up to God in Jerusalem. Here we go. Let's look, have a look and see. What does it say in English? Thus says the Lord, the people who survived the sword have found grace in the wilderness. I have given forth Israel its place of rest. The God appeared to me and said, with everlasting love, I have loved you. Therefore, I have given you tremendous loving kindness. I will build you up and you will be built forever. You will adorn yourself with tambourines, go and dance. You will plant vineyards in the fields of the Shomron. Planters will plant and redeem them. For the day has come when the watchmen, <clears throat> Mount Ephraim, will call up and say, Arise, let us go up to the house of God. Because this says, God of Jacob, sing. Raise your voices in rejoicing, jubilation. On the high places of all the nations, make it known. Offer your praises and say, <clears throat> Save your people, Hashem. <clears throat> the, those that are left over. Behold, I will bring them from the land of the north, gather them from the ends of the earth, the blind, the lame, the pregnant, the woman who has just given birth, everyone all together. Call Gadol Yeshuvahinu. The Rebbe always used to say this at the end of his Fabringas a lot of times. Call Gadol Yeshuvahinu. All of the Jews will come. Weeping from joy will they come. With compassion I will lead them.
<clears throat> I will bring them on the rivers in a straight way. They won't trip over, they won't because I'll be a father to the Jewish people, to Israel and to Ephraim, my firstborn, my chosen ones. Listen to the word of God, nations of the world. Tell all the islands, the faraway places. <clears throat> say if to the Israel, to say to the east, <clears throat> Israel ka gather you, gather the Jews, Bashamru Karoedro, and they will watch over you like a shepherd over his people because Parat as Hashem is Yaakov, because God has redeemed Jacob, and he has we say this in the evening prayer. And God has saved them from those who are more powerful than them. Come and sing on high Zion and <clears throat> rush to the good of ja the good of God on the wheat and the wine and the oil all the sheep. It will be like a plentiful garden, a bountiful garden. The Jewish people will never mourn again. Lo yasifu ladava od. Sometimes this is said by mourning, people who are in mourning. Lo yasifu ladava od. There will never be, you should never have any more mourning. Mourning is a terrible thing. <clears throat> As mourning means something that's, that you love is taken from you. Suddenly, then the young maiden will rejoice in singing and dancing. And young men and old men together will transform their mourning, M-O-U-R-N, their grief into joy and comfort. You will be rejoiced from, I mean, what in the world is going to make the Jews <clears throat> forget all the thousands of years of heartbreaking pain that they've had? And we've said it before, but the Holocaust, is, the Holocaust was unspeakable, but it, it, it could very well be that the, there were more people, a bigger percentage. One second. <laughs> was killed in the first destruction, second destruction. And for such psychologically, it was worse because, was worse because all the Jews were affected. <clears throat> in the Holocaust, like only one third of the Jews were affected. Revisi nefesh ha-kohanim, deshen, fa'ami, estuvi, yizbo, nu Hashem. Call Marshem, this is what God said. I remember the kindness of your youth. Let's see, let's see where it is here. Here we go. God says here. My people shall be filled with gold. This is what God says. What does God say? This is the end of the Haftorah. Just do the it's just the translation. A voice is heard on high, lamentations, bitter weeping. Rachel is weeping, weeping, weeping for her children. Rachel is buried in Beit Lechem, right? And so she's weeping. She refuses to be consoled for her children because they are gone. Actually, it says that he is gone. Thus says the Lord, stop weeping. Stop your eyes from tears. God says to Rachel, there's a reward for your deeds, says God. They'll return from the land of the enemy. All the Jews from all over the world, they'll all return. There is hope for your future, declares the Lord. The children shall return to their borders. 
Now the biggest exile is in the land of Israel. Here's the biggest exile. Biggest exile of all. Terrible. Terrible. Could be the... In Israel is probably the deepest, most shocking level of exile there's ever been in the history of the world. Most shocking. We're, we're bringing it on ourselves, at least in the other times. <clears throat> the... the here we, we, we have the land and we're giving it away to the, the enemy. We're giving it away. The enemy shoots missiles at us. We don't do anything. We have this beautiful army with all these arms. and <clears throat> We don't use it. it. Just two days ago, what they were shot, shooting missiles at us. Shooting missiles at us from our land that we gave to them. They shoot missiles at us and we do nothing. Just incredible. This is, I think, is the first year they didn't have these, you know, LGBT parades and the, the land is just filled, filled, filled with missionaries, filled, packed. And we're so proud of it. We're so proud of it in the world. You know, we say, look at the, here we so, we're so dem democratic. There's never been such a low thing. Okay, don't worry about it. There's hope for your future, says, and there's rabbis that say that it's good, you know. There's rabbis that really enjoy it. They enjoy, they, they, they say it's incredible. Rab, really, genuinely religious rabbis. Oh, this is wonderful. We got our land. <clears throat> I have surely, there's hope for your future, says God. The children should return to their border. I have been chastened like an untrained calf. Cause me to repent, and I will repent for you are my God. Because you are my God. God, just show me some sort of a sign, I'll do it. Because as soon as I repented, I regretted all of my past. After I understood what was going on, I was ashamed, disgraced. I had to bear the shame of my youth. Is not Ephraim my beloved son? Is he not a precious child? I speak of him and I call him more. Therefore, my inner parts stir for him. I will surely have compassion on him, declares the Lord. Here, want to see this in Hebrew. This is very beautiful. Sorry about this, but what can we do? It says, There's hope, says God. All of the Jews will return back to their boundaries, all the Jews. This is what we're reading on the Haftar, right? After this is going to be the, the sounding of the shofar. Shamua Shamati Ephraim, Noded, Isarti Ivoseer, reprove me and I will be reproved. Here it says, Ki ata shuvi nechamti acharei hivoda sapakti al yorech. I have struck my thigh with both Bishti, I am ashamed. I am totally embarrassed on what I have done when I was young. The Jewish people all regret all the mistakes they have made. Ben Yakirli Ephraim. Here you notice it doesn't say that God is going to punish everybody and there's going to be all sorts of catastrophes. We'll see, we say this in the Musaf prayer also. We're going to do the new Musaf prayer now. <speaking in Hebrew> Therefore, God says, I love the Jewish people. I will never abandon them. End of Haftorah. All right, let us go further. One second, there we go. Let's go further, all right? Now we're going to go briefly over the sounding of the shofar. We already did this. We did this already, 353. Yes, all right? As if you remember correctly, everybody said seven times. We said this, Lam Natsayach. Where is this? Here we go. 
Amatzei Achlim Nei Korach Mizmor. And we say this seven times. 